So today I'm here to actually talk about the video scene around the world, or I guess I should say the video scene around Texas. Just to give you guys a little bit of context, these girls are all at a Houston Astros baseball game. The one in the front of the frame right here is the one who's going to be producing this video, okay? She was apparently trying to get that perfect selfie. And basically these two girls in the background were talking crap and she captured the whole thing on video. So she says, watch my confidence disappear after these random girls make fun of me for taking pics. Okay, feeling my spice vibes. <laughs> so she's flicking necessary? off the camera. Thank you. Criminally offensive side eye starts recording me. Calls are lame. Telling her bestie it. I can literally hear the whole convo. <laughs> and can we just acknowledge that that was an absolutely disgusting laugh? <laughs> Nasty. Realizing they are talking about me. Feeling super self-conscious. I wanted to cry. Oh my god. Okay, so that's the video. And uh, this thing went like insanely viral. I mean, it has 7.7 .7 million likes. I think it has something like 70 million views. And honestly, when I saw this, I think I felt more conflicted than most because a lot of people were just like chastising these girls in the background. I mean, don't get me wrong. Were they big time hating? Absolutely. But do I really believe the girl in the front story about, oh, she wanted to cry. Oh, she felt so insecure. No. To me, if you're the type of person who is naturally insecure, you're not gonna go out and have a whole photo shoot in a crowded place. And the other thing is, I think a lot of women these days feel the need to have this like influencer arc to their Instagram page for the 300 followers. And to me, all that is a little bit annoying. Like you don't need to have a photo shoot everywhere you go. Regardless of how I feel, those girls in the background have been getting absolutely flamed. They've been getting their feet put to the fire. Because all these other women who like to take selfies, I mean, they've just been coming for their necks. Saying they're mean girls, doxing their house, trying to get them fired from their jobs. And personally, I think all of that is a little bit too far, especially the doxing. To me, that's like never okay. You got the boyfriend here stepping in to try and defend the honor of his queen. Honestly, I think this was a big mistake. Like, dude, you have no clout. You're just gonna get flamed. And you also look like that Mexican who was good at math. Sitting in the back of the class wearing the same black polo zip-up jacket every single day. The fact that you're getting away with this with a fake story, getting people on your side, people harassing the girls in this video is absolutely disgusting. Not to mention the things that these girls could lose just because you want some likes and followers on TikTok. Just go do a math equation, bro. You'll probably feel better. Let me get this clear. That you're being inconsiderate about this whole situation knowing that you have 50k TikTok followers and 10k Instagram followers it's insane to me this is a lot of people and for every action there's a reaction especially with that <laughs> many people following you my guy said for every action there is a reaction bro go into the science fair or something no one wants to hear from you this is enough talking so let's analyze the video okay feeling my spice vibes <laughs> was this necessary this clients are probably gonna be like this looks horrible they obviously made fun of her but this is not the case jackie i just have one question for you while you were sitting there minding your business feeling your spice vibes what, what were you actually doing there? Because to my knowledge, that wasn't even your seat. Like, I really don't even understand why he came out and did this. I mean, I get wanting to defend your girl, but he really just ended up making himself look like a clown. So let's be honest here. You saw her getting bothered, so you just kept doing it. Just so one of your videos could blow up like it did right now. I mean, it really just seemed to me like some everyday Latina on Latina beef. And then here is the girls actually responding to the video. USD sometimes gives out tickets for us students to buy to go to um, sporting events. And in this situation, it was the Astros game. When we got assigned our seats, um, before the game started, um, I got called out to the big screen um, and we'll add the clip on there for y'all to see and witness what kind of happened. And when I came back from my seat to sit down, um, this older man came and sat in front of us and started to record us. Um, so obviously an older man recording us at that point made us feel very uncomfortable, keeping in mind we had just been on the big screen. So now they're changing the whole story and they're saying that some old creeper with the camera was coming up in their face recording them at this game. As far as the flicking off goes, because I know a lot of people have been really bothered at that, saying that that was yeah, a whole bullying situation. Up. The flicking off was not aimed towards her, I just want to specify. Uh, the flicking off was aimed towards the camera, um, because her husband had been recording for over maybe five to ten minutes, which continued to make us uncomfortable. So yes, I do acknowledge that that might be behavior was 
was inappropriate, but keep in mind any woman, any young lady at a public area would feel harassed, especially because this older man was recording us. I mean, she's acting like the guy just like came around with his phone and fucking literally was like that putting it all up in her face. Like, was it not obvious that he was trying to take pictures of the girl literally posing for the photos in front of him? To me, it really just sounds like they're trying to make a bunch of excuses for their actions. All they really had to do was come out on camera and say, Hey, we're sorry, what we did was immature, I shouldn't have flicked her off, I shouldn't have called her lame. And I'm sure a lot of this hate would have stopped. Especially because this older man was recording us. And it wasn't just one, two, three. It was five, 10, 15 minutes. There's no I way. I also want to explain my part. 15 minutes, it's no way. It's clear that the whole time that she was doing her own reactions towards the, the camera, I did not know what was going on with that. The second I found out about this video being uploaded, that's when I saw what she was doing. So I had no part in that, okay? And then- Oh, damn. She just threw her homegirl under the bus. She said, hey, that was all her. That wasn't me. The second as to what she was heard in my ear, which was, look, we're going to be in her video. I went ahead and did my funny face, which is called photo bombing, which is not bullying. And it's not something illegal either for me to get this reaction where we're both getting death threats. People telling us, telling us to kill ourselves. Yeah, that's not cool. Stuff, like horrible things. Okay. Leaking our personal information, our home address. Yeah, I not don't cool. feel like our safety should be put at risk for something that was misinterpreted and put out of context. Because Facts. do keep in mind, the game was on the 19th and it took her three days to put it out there for the media to be able to see it. So I'm not justifying her behavior. I'm not justifying ours, but what is happening to us coming from millions of people is honestly very scary. I mean, yeah, like I said before, the threats against their life, the harassing of the family members that had absolutely nothing to do with this situation, even like trying to get her fired from her job and leaking her address. To me, all that stuff is way out of bounds. And I honestly think what they did didn't really call for that level of harassment. But I will also say they're acting like she's some like social media mastermind, like she has as many followers as Kim Kardashian. And it was like this contrived thing for her to go sit in this section where they happen to be in the background and like she just knew they were gonna get so uncomfortable that they would flick her off and call her lame and all these other things. I mean, let's call a spade a spade, ladies. You guys probably had a couple of drinks. You see her in the background to one of these Instagram photo shoots. This girl's trying to look all sexy. She's trying to do her thing. And y'all were absolutely hating. I mean, let's just be real. She has a job at her school where she used her um, editing skills and marketing skills to her advantage and used it in a very, I would so call it disgusting way. Because <laughs> you- I mean, let's be honest, you got absolutely slam dunked. It's like, don't hate the player, hate the game. Just because she knows about the editing softwares and how to use the right hashtags and how to take advantage of all that stuff doesn't mean that you were any less in the wrong. You took the time out of your life to edit a video and make it look like we were bullying you when that was not the case at all. We were very uncomfortable at your husband, whoever he was that was recording us for an extensive <laughs> amount of time, knowing that we had just came back from the big screen where we were motivating the winner, which was another woman. You know, like we empower a woman and we would hate uh... for anyone else to go through what we're going through. If we were so-called bullying you and you knew what we were talking about, then why didn't you explain to everyone what we were saying? That is my question personally. I mean, I just want to know what this motherfucker who was behind the camera looked like. I mean, by the sounds of it, they're making it sound like this was the creepiest, most diabolical looking motherfucker in the world. Seriously, though, I think this whole thing was so dumb. I think the original video was disingenuous. I don't think it killed her confidence. I don't think the stupid ass boyfriend should have come out and spoke at all. He should have just been in the background doing math. And I think they did a terrible job here because they really avoided all accountability and just made a bunch of excuses. Like to me in this situation, there's really no winners and losers here. It's really just a whole bunch of nonsense. I mean, obviously they took a massive L. She took a massive W. I mean, look at this. She has 452,000 followers now. She started at 50,000, so that's pretty good. The boyfriend right here actually ended up making like four or five different response videos. You know, he was like a clout goblin in disguise. It's like in Scooby-Doo where they take off the mask. You really love math, don't you, fucker? But I do want to give a quick shout out to all the people that always tell me, Hey, Jamari, you never make videos about Mexicans, bro. Well, this is why they never do anything interesting. It's just boring. Like, come on, my people. We got to step it up and be involved in some real life drama. Seriously, though, y'all let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. What do you think about people taking selfies out in public? Do you think it should be kind of expected? Like, if you're capturing someone else in the image that they might, like, fuck with your picture. Or do you think there needs to be some level of common courtesy? Just remember this, guys. If you know you're being recorded and you're doing some dumb shit, just know that your ass might end up on TikTok. And all of a sudden, everything you've worked so hard for could be in jeopardy. Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like, and subscribing. 
As you guys know, it's been your boy, Latan Superman, and some other angry Latinas out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace!